Mickey, do you remember? Uh, Mickey? Uh, yeah, let's go. You got 10 minutes. I got. What time is? It? Oh yeah, I got. Yeah, I got 10 minutes. Come on. Mickey, do you remember when you when you fought that great fight against yeah. Trinidad? Uh -huh. How you and Dan put together that game? Yeah. Plan? How, how did you and Dan put together? Well, that we game? knew that that Trinidad had to, you know, he had to be set to throw that big punch. And whenever you, you see him fight, you see him set to throw that hook, set to throw that right hand. So when he did that, I just kept him all balanced with the jab. Same thing with Manny. Manny's so fast that he in and out, he in and out. But by him jumping, he all balanced. So if Thurman can keep him all balanced, when he jumping, he can't get set to throw, throw that hard shot. But it's hard, to, it's, it's easy to say hard to do, because Manny's a great fighter. What's Dan like when you, at that one minute, when you come back to the corner between rounds what's his attitude see like? for me and Dan it's like a it's like a friend father figure because that was my only coach and you know I was Dan first big fighter so we worked together we learned from each other if he said something and, and I really didn't see it and I tell him look Dan I hear you but I don't see that it's okay well what you see then we worked together with it so it was a great positive for me and for keep you know keep understanding that Dan said a lot of things and he trusting Dan and he gonna go out there and do what he gotta do but if Dan tell him something that keep really don't think he can work he gonna say Dan I don't really like that, you know, should I try this? And then Dan said, oh yeah, let's try it, you know what I'm saying? I seen as young, early age, the kid had a lot of power. The kid had will to win. You know, the kid was, he always thought he was going to win no matter what. And a lot of, you can, you can teach skill, but you can't teach heart. Heart is something you're born with. Heart is something that, that, that nobody can take away from you. And if you keep going there with that same mentality, because it's going, it might, it could get harder in this fight. Manny Pacquiao is a great fighter. Manny Pacquiao could do something with Keith. Don't understand. But that heart and that will to win can overcome that. You know, I think, I do. I think it's a hard fight. Um, because he's fighting a, a great fighter. He's fighting a Manny Pacquiao. So, you know, everybody going to think. Any, in this fight, anything Manny Pacquiao do, the crowd going to go wild. Manny Pacquiao could throw three punches, land one. They're going to go wild. So, Keith got to be able to, uh, to adjust for that. That know that the crowd will go wild for Manny. Now, just go out there and do your fight. Yeah. Hey, you know, no matter where, Manny Packer is world known, so, you know, he's going to get that respect. Keep just got to go ahead and fight this game. Oh, I just did it. I, that, that was something I did with Fernando Vargas just because... You know, before I fought Vargas, I was a slick boxer. If you look at the tapes, I was sticking move. But Vargas was 17 and over 17 knockouts. And the only way for me to really change my 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 my, my vision for everybody about me was to go out there and fight Vargas, fight, beat him in his own fight, and that's what I did. Yeah. It was just smarter with it. I, I used my jab. I thought, and uh, I tried to dig to a lot of fighters' body. People say I couldn't punch, but you never saw. Fighters running at me, so I could punch a little bit just enough to keep you off. 